FERPA, and the Clary Act. As an advisor, it is important that you are familiar with the federal laws and regulations that govern higher education and impact the students you work with. These laws are put in place to protect your students and may affect your interactions with their peers, their families, organizational stakeholders, and even the students themselves. This module will highlight two of the most prominent laws in higher education, the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act and the Clary Act. FERPA. The following information has been retrieved from and is available for review on the Office of the General Counsel's website. The Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act of 1974 is a federal law designed to help protect the privacy of student education records. FERPA provides eligible students the right to inspect and review their education records, the right to seek to amend incorrect education records, and the right to limit disclosure of information from their education records. The Act applies to all institutions that are the recipients of federal aid administered by the Secretary of Education. FERPA protects the education records of students who are currently or were formerly enrolled regardless of their age. The education records of deceased students and students have who have applied to but have not attended an institution are not subject to FERPA guidelines. Education records. According to FERPA, an education record, with limited exception, is a record which is maintained by the institution, directly related to the student and from which a student can be identified. Based on this definition, records from virtually all academic, financial, and administrative offices fall under the FERPA umbrella. Directory information. Western Michigan University, in accordance with FERPA, has designated the following categories of information about individual students as directory information. Name, address, telephone number, WMU email address, curriculum and major field of study, dates of attendance, enrollment status, degrees and awards received, most recent previous educational agency or institution attended by the student, participation in officially recognized activities and sports, and weight and height of members of athletic teams. Directory information is subject to disclosure without the consent of the student. Students do have the right to request that any or all directory information not be released without their written consent. To invoke this right, a student must complete the confidentiality form and return the signed form to the registrar's office. This notice will then remain in effect until it is revoked in writing by the student. Information can be shared within the university among appropriate university personnel having legitimate educational interest in the records. Non-directory information can be released if a signed and dated consent is obtained from the student. The consent must specify the records that may be disclosed, state the purpose of disclosure, and identify the party or parties to whom the disclosure may be made. Students may request that the information disclosed be released to them as well. Content warning. This section of the module includes a brief mention of sexual assault and student death. Nothing explicit will be included in this module. Clary Act. The Clary Act is a federal law that requires colleges and universities to maintain a high level of transparency regarding crime that occurs on campus and campus security policies. The act was named after a college student named Jan Clary who was sexually assaulted and killed in her dormitory room in 1986. Her parents led the effort to increase the safety of college students and to increase the awareness of crimes on college campuses by requiring institutions to publish annual reports on on-campus crime. The Clarys felt that they were misled by her daughter's university about how safe the campus was, which ultimately led to their daughter's death. They felt that all prospective and current students of universities have the right to know exactly how safe a campus environment is. Colleges and universities must report crimes falling under the following categories. Homicide, murder and manslaughter, sex offenses sex such as sexual battery, sexual assault, rape, statutory rape and incest, robbery, aggravated assault, burglary, motor vehicle theft, arson, domestic violence, dating violence, stalking, and hate crimes. You can review WMU's annual security report on Western Michigan University's public safety's website. Under the Clary Act, colleges and universities are required to release timely warnings to the campus community when there are known risks to public safety on campus. At Western Michigan University, Timely warnings are sent out simultaneously via text, 
phone call, and email to all of campus. Though the act dictates that campus security must release the warnings for any on-campus threat, WMU will often send warnings out for threats occurring in the area surrounding campus as well. Any decision not to issue a timely warning for a risk can be reviewed by the Department of Education. WMU Public Safety offers a wide range of services and programs to educate and protect the university community. We highly recommend that you review their website and familiarize yourself with reporting, services, and policy in order to best serve your students. More information can be found at wmudps.wmish.edu.